Today's tutorial is on Launchpad, one of my shaders from the Immerse collection. Launchpad creates two resources for other shaders, which are normal vectors and optical flow. Since many shaders require those resources to function, it is much more efficient to create them once rather than repeatedly, so Launchpad takes care of that. Let's look at each of them in detail. To explain what normal vectors or normals are, consider a surface. The normal vector at any point is exactly perpendicular to the surface at its origin. This information is crucial for many lighting effects as it tells them the orientation of geometry in the scene. A normal buffer is essentially an image that contains this information for every single pixel on the screen. Unfortunately, on Reshade we cannot access the game's normal buffer, it might not even have one, so Launchpad has to create one for our own. Creating a normal buffer essentially works like this. With our camera at the top, imagine a group of 2x2 pixels from the depth buffer. Height in this visualization is the distance to the camera. The pixel in the back left is the closest. If we want to calculate the normal vector for this pixel, we calculate the difference to the height of the neighboring pixels along two directions and find a third vector that is perpendicular to both. The process is a bit more involved, but this is the basic idea. The downside of this method is that it captures the true surface geometry normals, which reveals how low poly some geometry actually is. Games often trick the lighting algorithms into thinking a surface is smoothly curved by interpolating normals from adjacent faces. This makes the lighting wrap smoothly around corners. Launchpad can fix this with its Smooth Normals feature. It detects connected surfaces and imitates this interpolating behavior. This process cannot be perfect as game developers can control which surfaces blend and we cannot know that, but Launchpad does a pretty good job at guesstimating it. But there is more. 3D models for games are usually low-poly versions of highly detailed originals that are too slow to render. Games recover the lost micro-detail by using normal maps. These locally bend the normal vectors such that lighting behaves as if we would render the high-resolution model. These normal maps are also lost when generating normal vectors from depth data, but Launchpad can fix this too, with a textured normals feature. Enable it and Launchpad will estimate some fake relief from the final image. It might not be entirely accurate, but wrong detail looks much more natural than the absence of it. Using it with RTGI, enabling smooth normals fixes the blockiness on the pillar, and enabling textured normals causes some nice surface relief that looks very realistic. Another key feature of Launchpad is its optical flow. To understand why it's needed, let's first look at how some rendering algorithms rely on it. Imagine this is the indirect lighting in the scene that we want to ray trace. This image is generated with a massive number of rays, too many for real-time rendering. If we reduce the number of rays to what our GPU can handle, we get this, which is far from the clean result we're aiming for. However, we can reduce the cost by spreading the workload over multiple frames. Each frame generates unique rays, giving us noisy but similar lighting estimates. When we combine the data from those frames, we end up with something much less noisy. If we were to do this naively and just reuse data pixel by pixel, we would end up with visible trails from previous frames as things move. If we detect wrong matches and reject the frame history where it doesn't match, we trade ghosting for noise or blurriness in those regions, as we can only have the highly noisy current frame estimate, which we have to blow heavily to mask the noise. If we track objects across multiple frames and compensate for their movement, we can achieve a sharp and clean final frame. To achieve this, we need something called motion vectors. These essentially tell us where each pixel's corresponding predecessor was in the previous frame. Since we can't easily access motion vectors from the game, and it might not have them at all, we need to generate them ourselves. This process is known as optical flow or motion estimation. Launchpad includes a unique algorithm that significantly outperforms other methods in the same performance class. This is RDGI without any motion vectors. This is with DH Uber Motion, which is set to maximum settings. This is with Ward Motion, which doesn't have any quality settings. And this is using Launchpad with lowest settings. And finally with highest settings. It has the highest end-to-end -end accuracy since we don't see any jiggling. So I hope this gave you some insight into why Launchpad is necessary and why guides tell you to enable some shader that does not seem to do anything. Launchpad always needs to be as high as possible in the shader list so it receives an image unaltered by other shaders. That's it for this time and... Oh, yeah, right. 
subscribe very very important subscribe